Okay, so Tesla stock is doing a bullish reaction today. It is above its support levels, breaking through its resistances. Great. However, Tesla is still bearish and it is still in a critical situation that could turn out to be a huge bull trap. This chart over here screams danger and this could change everything on Tesla from here. In this video, I will explain why the situation is still dangerous and I will tell what it takes for Tesla to reverse this bearish sentiment. After all, when there is danger, there is also opportunity. Welcome to the Finance Hydro channel. My name is Nathan. Let's analyze Tesla's price action. Let's start our technical analysis on Tesla stock, starting with the short term in the one hour chart. In the short term, Tesla is clearly bullish. It is doing higher highs, higher lows, trading consistently above its 21 EMA over here. This is good. It seems the situation is under control. Tesla is just going up and there's not a single bearish sign on it right now at this moment. There's no evidence. There is no top sign over here. There's no evidence that is going to reverse the bearish, I'm so sorry, the bullish sentiment. All right, so okay, we are bullish over here. Now, in the daily chart, the situation gets a little bit more complicated because in the daily chart, we are still in a bear market. We are still in a bear trend, doing lower highs, lower lows, trading below the 21 EMA. Right now, as far as I know, Tesla is just bouncing to its, to its 21 EMA, not different than this movement over here, or then this movement over here, or then this movement over here, okay? It is not much different, right? So as far as I know, the situation is still quite complex. It is still not looking that good for Tesla, and it is still extremely dangerous. Regardless if you are bullish or bearish on it, I'm gonna update the most important key points you should watch on Tesla stock from here right now at this moment. If you are bearish, okay, let's say you are a Tesla bear, you, know, you hate Tesla and you wanna see it dropping. What's the key point for you? 123. If Tesla loses, only if Tesla loses 123, it is going to reverse the bullish sentiment in the short term and resume the bearish sentiment in the midterm, in the daily chart. Why? Because the 123 is a crystal clear support level that worked as a support level multiple times over here in December as a resistance level, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, multiple times over here in the past. So, oh, oh and in addition, it is the 38.2% Fibonacci's retracement. It is the first retracement over here. So this key point is your support level. You want to see Tesla losing 123 in order to crash again. What if we lose 123? Well, if that's the case, Tesla would trigger a bearish pivot point and short term speaking, the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement is your next technical target to work with. And I believe we can easily hit this point. In the midterm, the chart suggests that it could drop to even lower levels. In the midterm, if you, if you can afford to hold Tesla for a longer period of time, technically speaking, Tesla could easily drop to the next support level, which is around 101, near the $100, which is another relevant key point to work with. It is, a, it is, a, it is an important psychological price level on Tesla, right? So, it could easily retest $100 if we lose 123. So that's the key point. If you are a Tesla bear, of course, you want to see Tesla losing. Now, Nathan, I am a Tesla bull, right? So uh, what to expect next? Well, so far, the situation is under control. To you, it seems everything is just fine because Tesla is still above its short-term support levels in the hourly chart. What's more, we are trying to break the, the 21 EMA over here. Great. But uh, honestly, I think Tesla has a resistance level to break around the 38.2% Fibonacci's retracement around 140. The 140 is a quite meaningful technical resistance on Tesla. 
not only because it is the first the first retracement as we can see here in the daily chart but in the weekly chart it is the technical target of this hammer candlestick pattern if you project this hammer's height in the direction of the breakout the 140 is the technical target exactly where the 38.2 percent fibonacci's retracement is right now at this moment and before I, before I forget, guys, you have been watching me for five minutes right now. So if you are not my subscriber, consider subscribing because you probably like it, the content so far. So click on the like button as well. Thank you very much for your audience. Let's continue our Tesla stock analysis over here. Now, this is the 140 is the retracement and it is the technical target of this hammer candlestick pattern. Okay. When Tesla hits, if, of course, if Tesla hits this resistance, it could easily, easily trigger a pullback in this area or even correct to lower levels because this point is a meaningful resist resistance level. If you are, if, if you want to see Tesla reversing the trend, doing a better, meaningful, bullish reversal structure, what you are asking for is this, is a possible bullish pivot point a crystal clear higher high higher low because right now this is not a crystal clear higher high higher low tesla is just doing what it did over here over here over here it is just bouncing to a resistance level we don't see any meaningful bullish structure and this and this is why the situation is very complex because this is a point to the bulls because right uh, i'm so sorry to the bears because we don't see a crystal clear reversal signal right now on tesla yet i know i probably were gonna bounce to the 140 again great the bull trend might continue in the short term but uh here we will find probably we're gonna find some problems because we have yet to see a crystal clear bullish reversal structure on tesla only if we see a crystal clear bullish reversal structure i believe tesla is going to reverse the mid slash long term bear trend and seek higher levels if if we seek higher levels i think the 61.8 percent fibonacci's retracement is a around 160 is a very nice target to work with right now because it is the last resistance level and and tesla could potentially trigger in the monthly chart a hammer candlestick pattern this is going to be the first bullish candlestick pattern in one two three four five five months right now since when tesla was above the 300 dollars so this is this might indicate that tesla could bounce to higher levels the only thing missing is a crystal clear bullish reversal structure in the daily chart as far as we don't see a crystal clear bullish reversal structure we might find some problems around the 140 over here and of course if you want to trade tesla well join the top five percent of traders we can actually make money while beating this market we are doing insanely well insanely well we are nailing many many movements on many stocks because well we are among the top five percent and we are very humble as well but seriously we are literally among the top five percent my performance is public check my website the link is in the description of this video now in the monthly chart if we project this hammer's height over here in the direction of a possible breakout the next technical target is around 176 over here i don't think we're gonna seek that level yet but i do believe we could easily retest the 61.8 percent fibonacci's retracement in the incoming weeks the only thing tesla has to do is to remain above the 123 all right so this is the most important critical key point on tesla right now for us to watch and of course i'm gonna keep you guys updated every single day on this channel so keep in touch click on the like button subscribe to this channel have a great and a lovely weekend see you guys next week stay safe farewell